Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick tip just to talk about the fact that the support for a lot of the programs that I've been using from the Chrome Web Store, so I'm talking about things like BL Heli Suite, Beta Flight, Clean Fly, iNav Flight, have all been retired. So now if you go and try and search for something like Clean Flight, it's not there. If we search for iNav Flight, Oh dear, and if we search for Beta Flight Configurator, it's not there either. So it's all disappeared. Now this is probably going to be a surprise to some people. It's been talked about since summer last year, so it isn't a surprise for those of you that have been following the hobby for quite a while. But it does mean though that we have to think about another way of getting hold of the Configurator programs to manage our drones and multicopters. So, Rather than do it through the Chrome Web Store, we're going to have to download and install these configurator programs as discrete programs actually on our PC or Mac or even Linux in some cases. Now, some of the providers are doing a better job than others, but let me just show you how to do it. Now, I've created a little folder in here called RC Config Apps. Uh, I've already downloaded the zip files and expanded them into this. Don't worry, I'll show you how all that works in a minute. Uh, the good news is iNav has already taken care of this, so it's beta flight. Clean flight hasn't, so come on, guys, get your finger out and get this sorted for all of us clean flight pilots. And the other one that I'm struggling to find at the moment is BL Heli Suite. But I'm sure over the coming weeks that will change. But let me just show you what you need to do is if you've come to this video because you're following along with another video on YouTube or a post in RC groups or whatever, and you've gone into the Google Web Store and you've searched on the Chrome Web Store for something like Beta Flight and you can't find it. The easiest place to find this stuff from at the moment is in GitHub. Now I have a complete video on GitHub and GitHub is great because it is the repository for all the software for these open source projects that we all rely on in the hobby. Now if we just uh, type in GitHub beta flight, we'll do that one first. Uh, any of these will work that will take you to a github.com address. And here is the beta flight stuff. Now it looks really complicated, uh, but if we just go and click on the beta flight here to go to the top level of the project, there's all the different lots of code, and one of them is the beta flight configurator. And when you click in there, there's all the code base, but you click on releases, and don't worry, I'll put this address in the description so you can go straight here so you don't have to do all this messing about. But here is the latest beta flight configurator, only 12 days ago, so tick v good for the beta flight developers. They're obviously on the ball with this. There's a version for Linux 64, Mac OS, and Win32 as well. So if you just click on each of these for whatever operating system you want, it'll download it onto your desktop. Uh, I am gonna put it onto my desktop for now. Let's just click save. And let me just show you what that looks like. So you end up with a little zip file. Uh, this one's called Beta Flight Configurator. If you double click on that, there's just one directory and you can just copy that onto your desktop. And then if you double click on that new folder, then inside are all the files that you need. And the one you need to double click is Beta Flight Configurator. Uh, just be prepared because a lot of this stuff is very, very new, you might find that the antivirus software on your uh, PC, Mac, or whatever it is, freaks out a little bit. I'm sure as time goes on, uh, everything will calm down a little bit. But there's Beta Flight running on my PC, and it isn't re relying on Chrome. You can see it's Configurator 10. This is the latest and greatest version. So that's how you do it for Beta Flight. Now, it's the very similar setup for iNav Flight. So again, if we type GitHub, and a flight, click on any of these. Again, we'll find INAV configurator. Don't worry, I'll put that link again in the description so you can go straight to it. We're looking for releases. Uh, on INAV configurator, we have two, one for Mac OS and one for Win32. So again, just click on the one that you want and save it wherever you want to. Again, we'll just stick that on the desktop for now. Double click on that zip file and you'll find there's one directory. And in that one directory, you have all the pieces you need. So while you're in the zip file, drop, drag and drop and copy to your desktop the iNav Configurator folder. So if you double click on iNav Configurator, here are all the files. Find the one that's called iNav Configurator and double click on that. Again, 
your PC will probably freak out and say, ooh, don't run that, I don't know what that is because it's all very new. Uh, just click run the program anyway. If you're not sure, scan this whole directory with your antivirus technology on your machine. And there we have iNav Configurator. Again, running locally, so we don't have to worry about it. The only one that uh, I'm struggling with at the moment, and uh, Clean Flight needs to get their game together. If I just look on GitHub for Clean Flight, uh, we'll go straight to Clean Flight Configurator. 72 releases. At the moment, if you download this and have a look at it, so again, we'll just stick it onto the desktop. And you can see this hasn't been updated since July the 30th, so it hasn't been touched for quite a while, this one. If you double click on that zip file that you've just downloaded, there's the configurator. Let's copy that to the desktop. If I open that one, you can see here that it hasn't got that same kind of file that we had before where there was a obvious configurator.exe file that we had to click on. This is still very much all the stuff that runs in the Google Chrome browser. So hopefully that'll get sorted out soon. Again, I'll put this link in the description anyway. Hopefully the Clean Flight team will get on to get this sorted out uh, because the other iNav and Beta Flight teams have already got round to it. Obviously, we've also got the other applications that we've relied on, like the BL Heli Suite and others. But hopefully, that helps those of you that are trying to get hold of these things and run them with new bits and pieces for Christmas. That's how you do it. Just download it, double click on the whatever dash configurator file, and you should find that it'll start running, and you can just connect and continue as normal. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video and particularly for watching right to the very end. We try and release a video on Tuesday and Friday and sometimes we'll release one or two extra ones in a week as well. All of the videos on the channel are organised into easy to use playlists so do have a look in there because if you're interested in a subject we organise all the videos on that subject so you can find them easily all together in one place. If you like what we're doing, then please like and subscribe and tell others about the channel so they can come and join as well. We're available in all of the usual social media places, particularly in places like Instagram, Twitter, and we also share all of our 3D designs on Thingiverse.